when you have a fridge full of veggies and you don't know what to make of them, try this recipe. Welcome back to Food Drills. Today we are going to make mixed vegetable paratha, which is not only tempting but also very nutritious. First off, you will need one finely chopped carrot. Then chop 10 beans. I prefer using a scissor instead of a knife for this. Somehow it keeps the bean pieces firm and stiff. Take an onion and chop it finely. It is important to separate the layers like this. This will help you rolling the dough later on. Add about 9 to 10 garlic cloves. Chop them as well. Add them in a bowl. Next, what you will need is one green onion. Now, this vegetable is actually optional, but hey, you know me, I love greens. But if you are adding it, add only the leaves by roughly chopping them first. Now add about 1 teaspoon salt, 2 teaspoons of sugar, a pinch of turmeric powder but this is optional. It's just to give a healthy boost to your immunity. 1 small spoon of red chili powder. One small spoon of cumin powder. One small spoon of coriander powder. And just a pinch of garam masala powder. Now mix everything thoroughly. After 15 to 30 minutes, the veggies will have discharged water. In a bowl, take 2 cups of refined flour. Add the chopped vegetables in it. Now, knead the dough for 10 to 15 minutes. Since the veggies give out enough moisture on their own, I did not add any water. But if your dough seems too dry, I would suggest sprinkling a little bit of warm water. The dough ball should be nice and soft. Brush it with oil and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Divide the dough in 100 gram portions. I have made 4 dough balls. You can easily store rest of the dough in the fridge for 4 to 5 days. Now pick one from the bunch and coat it with refined flour. Roll them like parathas. It doesn't need to be perfect circle. <laughs> Even I make them like maps. Sprinkle some flour if required and roll them again. These parathas are thick, so griddle them for 3 to 4 minutes first and then flip. The other side should also be cooked for about 4 minutes. Brush about 1 tablespoon oil and cook for another 2 to 3 minutes. Flip and repeat the same for the other side. If your parathas are not thick, you might need lesser time to cook. There, the first one is ready. Now, just repeat the same process with the remaining dough balls. Warm and nutritious parathas with a mix of your favorite veggies. So the next time you are bored with your daily plate full, how about giving this a try? It's very filling and healthy. Hope you enjoyed this desi recipe. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tempting recipes.